Whoa, whoa, whoa. Where am I, Just Ken? Welcome back to another episode, folks, of Rigging with Rita. Today's a good one, folks, because we are taking a dive into the Mystery Tackle Box 12 Days of Fishness. And here it contains 12 different items from Mystery Tackle Box. And it's an advent calendar. Uh, what a genius idea by Mystery Tackle Box, by the catch company to do this. Honestly, props to you guys and round of applause. Such a great idea. I honestly admire them. They are awesome. They're super cool. And they do a lot of crack and cool content. Just like myself. Subscribe. Link down below. No, not link down below. You're watching this video. God, I'm slow. Like, comment, subscribe. Do that for me. Please. And you'll win a cookie. Nice, nice cookie. That was weird. Anyway. Just do that for me. Like, comment, subscribe. And hit that notification bell. Because then you'll know when I'm posting. Because you want to see this video. And you're watching it right now, so thank you guys for watching. Anyway, I'm going off topic. This contains a bunch of stuff in here. Spirit of Fishmas. We have about 12 different items, like I said. And today, we're doing an unboxing. Can you believe that? We're doing an unboxing. We're going to unbox this thing so that you guys can get a little cheat code of what might be inside yours. So, alright, let's check it out though. We're going to go with the first one, okay? Number one, right here. To it. Okay, and they're gonna be a, there's gonna be a follow up video where I, where I'm gonna fish with half this stuff and try and catch up on it. So stay tuned for that. So first we got this. It's a little I want to say like a worm type thing. It's a little sticky thing on the back. Don't need that. I'll clean it up later. But yeah, guys, we'll, we'll do a follow up fishing video, and then I'll catch fish on. 12 Days of Fisherman's Lures. Just to make it more fun, you know what I'm saying? So we got this right here. I don't know if you can see it. But it is pretty cool. Uh, two little worms with little, just like thick worms. I don't really know what they are. Kind of just like, yeah, I say weird worms. They look like something you could, uh, wacky rig, Texas rig. I mean, you could even throw a trailer on. Who knows? These are pretty cool. Thank you, Mr. Tackles, for the first item. Super, super dope. You know, honestly, let's put a little quick here. I think, honestly, these could work well. I would love to try these, and we're going to try them in a video, I promise. Stay tuned for that. All right, cool. Next on the list, we have... Uh, this looks like a jigging sort of thing. And this is... I don't want to break it. So it's kind of hard to, like... Oh, what you can read inside. Oh, I'm sorry. God bless us, everyone. Well, God bless us, everyone. I believe, I believe, it's silly, but I believe in Santa Carl. It's just little comments like that. That's funny. Okay, here we go. Next item is the little jig. Uh, sick. I mean, oh, wow, that just poked me. Wow, ow, ow, absolutely ow. What else is poking me? Jesus. It wasn't just that hook. All right, well, yeah, then we got this here, so. Um... I could probably catch a bluegill with this. I'm just kind of thinking... I guess we'll work with it. I mean, honestly, I don't really mind, so... Let's do it. Now... A jig! Ooh! Yeah, that's, it's open already. Okay. Well, we're gonna throw that guy back in there, because I don't want to open this yet. Okay, I guess not. I guess we're opening it, so... Oh, that's weird. So we, I, I'll just open it up for you guys. Maybe, maybe not. Um, 
We got a jig now. Um, it's very heavy. It's not a football jig. I'm gonna be honest with you, my fishing's kinda tough right now. Kinda lost a lot of woo because we've been so busy. It's got a weird hook on it though. Like it 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 that's a normal hook, but like I don't know. Not the ones on oh when it's got a oh you can like put the little it's like the wiring on it, you can put the bait through, uh, for a trailer. We'll try that. We'll try that with, now see, I don't know if that's gonna work though, cause it's blue, I would to definitely use this at night, like nighttime fishing. I suggest using this for nighttime fishing, but I don't know, we'll have to see. Try it out in an another video. Okay, that's over with, and we're gonna move on to, it looks like kind of like a whack, little worm here. Oh, other side, silly me. Oh wow. Taking this sticky part off again because we're not dealing with all that. I'm getting a lot of nighttime colors. Honestly, not bad though. Not bad because we could do a nighttime fishing lure challenge. But I was hoping for more something that could use. You know what? I could do this on the trailer of that jig. That could work. So we're going to use this worm right here. You could honestly Texas rig this, you know, wacky rig. Honestly, I'm going to try and I'm going to figure out what I'm going to do with this. Don't worry. We'll figure it out. Uh, next, number five. Hmm. Again, I don't know where I would really, I mean, it's like a spinner. Which is cool, nonetheless. It's it's awesome. It's got like a white eye, but this looks more like a nighttime lure. You know what I'm saying? Like something I would use in the night. I mean, it'll work. It'll look good. It kind of looks like a leech, but I got throw some like maybe a golf pond or something. Could work if there's even fish in there. Got number five over with. You can read inside. It says every time a bob, every time a bobber bell rings, an angle. Every time a bobber bell rings, an angel angelfish gets its wings. I don't even. Know. Number six, which is probably hooks. And what would you know? It is hooks. Now I'm gonna use these for whatever I want to over here, which is probably gonna either be the worms or the creature baits, which are the little, everyone thinks it kind of looks like one. These kind of look like swim baits though. I don't know if you guys would think they you kind of use those as swim baits. So maybe we'll match these two together and then boom, we got ourselves a pretty sick duo. Anyway, moving on to looks like a sticker. I'm excited. I love stickers. Whoa. We got a fat, uh, a fish on a bass boat. It just says catch company on it. Sick. It's got a little sticker on it that we can take out. So we'll put this on probably my my car or something. I don't know. We'll figure it out eventually. I got enough stickers already. Lord knows, Google sends me a lot of those. Number eight. Creature bait. I like this. I like this one. Guys, look at that. That's beautiful. Oh man. I gotta say though, getting a lot of like dark bait. I got only like one really bright color, which ain't all bad. It's cool. That is awesome though. I love this color. Absolutely. If you guys want to do some like Honestly, nighttime jigging, that is awesome. It, it's just gonna glisten in the sun. It's, gonna, it's not so, sun, in the moon. The moon is gonna shine. Well, technically is the sun. I'm not I'm not really wrong. But this is this is good right here. Super sick, thank you again. God, this company's awesome. All right, now it looks like a, ooh. Oh, fudge, I, I took the lure out. Well, that's a dilemma. 
It's got pink on it. I'm gonna put it back in here because, you know, we're not using it yet. I'll just, I'll, I'll put it out of the packaging now. I'll show you guys what we got going on in here. So this is what it looks like. It looks like a spinner. I don't know, this is a nice spinner. I don't really know how I feel about it too much. It obviously would probably work, but there you go. Yeah, I mean, it's got like pink scale-like things on it. It's kind of soft, I mean. Well, we're gonna try in a video, so we'll see how it works, but I like it. It's, it's interesting. I like it, it is interesting. Very interesting. All right. Now, where is the... Okay. That's awesome. That's great. That's fantastic. I'm going to set you right there. All right. Next up is... Ooh. What's so, up? Koozie. Ooh. Small win. That's actually perfect because... I catch small fish. So this is amazing. Mr. Tackle Box, super cool that you guys did this. That is awesome. Super, super sick. I'll be, uh, I'm gonna be sipping on an Arnold Palmer. One of these bad boys. Sick. All right. Nah, last but not least. Well, not last either, but least but not last. Ooh. Wow. I literally have this one, but in crankbait form. Look at that. Hold that a little bit better. Dang, bro. Look at that, man. <sighs> cheese rice. Jesus Christ, cheese. Che beans rice, Jesus Christ, and Byron. That was awesome. Thank you, Mr. Tackle Box. Again. Do it. We're gonna that one's gonna be pretty cool to fish on. I love using those baits. It's one of my favorites. Thank you so much. And that's also a Guggen Swat bait. So, and check out Guggen Swat. Use code, not me, because I'm not a part of it. Use any code. Any of those big guys got like Norm, code Norm, Lojo, Yak Pack, probably Flare, John B or something. Um. Lunkers probably like four. I don't know. They all got one. Becca. I don't know. All right. Last but not least. I don't know what's in here. All right. Let's check it out. Hmm. Interesting. Wow. We got another spinner bait. Sick. And we get to fish with this one too. These are going to be very hard. This is a hard bunch here, because I'm, I'm throwing in, like, bright... This almost seems like night fishing lures. Actually, no, I'm going to show you guys. Oh, wow, back. Holy cow. This is a spinnerbait, as you guys can tell. And this is going to be probably very fun to throw. I, I'm very excited for it. That's awesome. That's super cool. All right. There it is, and now, I mean, I'm excited to throw this. You guys are probably excited to see it. But yeah, that concludes everybody. 12 Days of Fishmas by Mr. Tackle Box by The Cash Company. Oh, wow. Yeah, not doing that again. Um, but yeah, I want to quick say a quick thank you to all my supporters out there. Uh, shout out a couple people. Raid Fishing, thank you so much for supporting supporting my man. Extreme Outdoorsman, thank you for supporting as well. You're my guy. Uh, my guy, Goat Fishing, which is Tyler. He's in some of the videos. Goat.Fishing, follow him. He's pretty sick. Um, but yeah, guys, if you want to see more content like this, right, uh, like, comment, subscribe, and please comment below. Tell me what you like. I want to make sure that I don't do selfish content like I've been learning is something that you shouldn't do because I don't want to show you guys something that I like, which which I do, but I want you guys to tell me what you like. Like, what do you guys want to see on YouTube that you haven't seen people do? And if you hit me up and say, Colin, or Mr. Riggin with Rita, 
or Miss or Rita, whatever. I want to see you catch, clean, and cook uh, a salamander. I want to see you catch, clean, and cook a panfish, which is or a bluegill panfish. And I want you to season it with deep. I want you to season it with Oreo dust. Great, I got a deep fryer. Game, bro. I got you guys. So comment down below that. That would be awesome. Like, comment, and subscribe, as I said already. Um, but, yeah, guys, I, I really appreciate you watching today. Uh, so many people supporting. Thank you guys so much for, like, 221 right now. We go up and down. We got 223, 221, 220, 219, 224. Like, we'll bounce everywhere. But, yeah, I'll hopefully put up a reel up soon. And this video should go up either... Soon. Sugar up soon. So yeah, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and keep on rigging. Alright? I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace!